Hey everyone, this is a prophecy report entitled, Who Owns the Golan Heights by Damon Duck. In 1967, Egypt, Syria, and Jordan attacked Israel in what is called the 1967 War. Israel captured the Golan Heights in 1967 and annexed them in 1981. Jews are living there today and they are growing crops on them. On March 25, 2019, President Trump recognized the Golan Heights as sovereign Israeli territory. In June of 2019, Trump, for recognizing the Golan Heights as sovereign Israeli territory, Israel announced plans to build a community on the mountains and name it Trump Heights. One year later, Israel budgeted the equivalent of about $2.3 million to build infrastructure and homes at Trump Heights. Many nations, Syria, Russia, Turkey, Iran, and others, refuse to recognize that the Golan Heights are part of Israel. Their objection will probably play a role in the destruction of Damascus, Isaiah 17, and the defeat of Russia, Turkey, Iran, and others in the Battle of Gog and Magog in the latter days and latter years, Ezekiel 38-39. The Bible says that the nations around Israel will claim the mountains of Israel, slander Israel, and make God angry at the end of the age. God added that he will be on Israel's side. Israel will possess the mountains and grow crops on them. On November 27, 2023, the UN General Assembly adopted a resolution calling upon Israel to withdraw from the Syrian Golan Heights. The problem that the UN, Syria, and all the others have is that God said the mountains are His, not Syria's, and He will give them to Israel at the end of the age. The world cannot liberate them because God has already liberated them and given them to Israel. Who owns the Golan Heights? The issue has been settled in heaven, and Israel's enemies will be wise to accept what the Bible says. Here are some recent reports that seem to relate to Bible prophecy. Concerning world government, a digital ID and tracking everyone, on December 6th, Worthy Brief reported that the UN and some of its wealthy contributors hope to have everything on earth in a digital ID system by 2030. That Australia hopes to start enrolling its 26 million citizens in a digital ID system by the middle of 2024. That Switzerland officials have approved a digital ID bill that they want to put into place in 2026. That digital ID plans are progressing in many other nations. At some point following the rapture, the Antichrist will confirm or strengthen a peace treaty with many for seven years of peace in the Middle East, Daniel 9.27. When the Antichrist confirms or strengthens that covenant, world leaders will declare peace and safety. Some translations say peace and security. And then sudden destruction, the tribulation period, will come. Peace and safety and peace and security are the same thing. Many world leaders and prophecy teachers know that the Iranians and Palestinians have tried to thwart a peace treaty and the Arabs have refused to negotiate a peace treaty until Israel meets the demands of the Palestinians. On December 6th, UN Secretary General Gutierrez invoked Article 99 of the UN Charter, which allows him to ask the UN Security Council to restore the ceasefire between Israel and Hamas because the war is threatening peace and security on the earth. The UN Security Council met on December 8th to discuss Gutierrez's request, and the U.S. vetoed it. A demand from the UN Security Council might bring a declaration of peace and security at some point in the future, but if it does, it will not produce peace and security on the earth. Concerning a covenant of peace in the Middle East on December 8th, officials from Turkey, Jordan, Egypt, Qatar, and Saudi Arabia went to Washington to try to get the U.S. to push a ceasefire in the Israel-Hamas war. While there, they urged the U.S. and the international community to accelerate the two-state solution. 
a peace treaty to divide Israel and give East Jerusalem and the Temple Mount to the Palestinians in the Middle East. They want a peace treaty or an agreement to sign a peace treaty in one year. Incidentally, it may or may not be significant, but most of these nations are mentioned in Psalm 83. Israel is no longer seeking a peace treaty with the Palestinians. Israel is looking to establish a security zone in Gaza and to influence who governs Palestine. Concerning perilous times and wars and rumors of wars at the end of the age, on December 10th, Israel and Hamas are fighting in Gaza. Israel is striking Syrian and Iranian targets in Syria almost daily. Iranian-backed Houthis in Yemen are constantly attacking ships in the Red Sea. Hezbollah is firing rockets into Israel from Lebanon almost daily. Iranian-backed terrorists have attacked U.S. troops in Syria and Iraq 92 times since the Israel-Hamas war began on October 7th. Turkey and Iran have said they will not let Israel defeat Hamas. Russia and Ukraine are still fighting, and China is threatening Taiwan. On December 12th, Netanyahu said that the PA is helping Hamas attack Jews in the West Bank of Israel. So Israel is now preparing for the possibility of war with the Palestinian Authority. If PA troops want to fight on the side of Hamas, Israel may go after the PA troops. On December 12th, Israel told the U.S. that Hezbollah has stepped up its unprovoked attacks on Israel from Lebanon. So Israel has no choice but to step up its attacks on Hezbollah. It seems like the world needs a man with a plan, but according to the Bible, he will go forth conquering and to conquer, and things will get a lot worse. Are you rapture ready?